Mac, nine days in the shed, two days back on the water with what we hear a few gremlins still to get rid of. I mean, give us an idea of what kind of shape Patriot's in. How race ready is she? As race ready as she's going to be before uh, the start of racing. So uh, now we're confident that, that the guys have sorted everything out. Um, we needed those two days and we use them, you know, efficiently and effectively. So boat's ready to go and, and the sailors are too and the shore team is too. So we're excited. Are we going to see the, the Patriot that, that we saw before? Or better. So yeah, boat's fast and uh, we're all feeling good. So it's going to go well. So that's the hardware, uh, probably in some way, you know, the easy bit. How are the team feeling ahead of this must win weekend? I think a lot of the guys have been in this situation before, so, you know, we're going to approach it one race at a time and treat it like any other race that we have in our careers. So nothing changes, just go out and let the boat do what it can do. Mac, how's the forecast looking? I mean, talk to me a bit about the opposition and whether the weather could play a part in, in the outcome of this crucial weekend. You know, I think as we've learned in, the, in this cup so far, even two weeks is, you know, two weeks ago is ancient history. So, you know, Luna Rosa has been sailing a lot the last couple of weeks um, since we've been in the shed. So I'm sure they've gotten a lot better. Uh, but we're really confident uh, in the breeze and today's breeze on. So uh, we're, we're feeling good, but I'm sure they are too. So it's going to be close racing. And, We'll see how it goes. Lovely, thank you. Have a good Thanks. one. Thank you. See you later. Okay. And PJ, before their capsize, American Magic had shown really promising form in certain conditions. In reality, though, how much of a threat is your competitor? Well, I think, um, you know, we have done a huge step, as I said, after uh, in, in the last 10 days. I mean, our performance in Breeze improved massively. I mean, there's going to be a number that uh, it, it's really hard to believe, and we really step it up in our racing management and everything. So I don't think the American Magic is a threat, or um, obviously is a good team. They, they've they had these 10 days. It'll be very tough on them. We made a huge improvement. We just need to get out there and do the best we know and uh, race, our, race our race and go from there. There are now no second chances, is there? I mean, this weekend is a must win. How are Luna Rossa going to approach this crucial head-to-head? -head? I just, I guess everybody on the boat, you know, from Jimmy to Keiko, myself, Pietro, we all have raised a really high level and uh, it's, uh, we know we need to get out there and do our best. So, as you said, there's no second chance or so our A game will be there. And uh, yeah, it's nothing, nothing else we can do, just sail our best. There is a chance, isn't there, that the weather may be a key factor in the results this weekend. How much are you liking what you see? Oh, um, well, to be fair, um, it's going to be on top of the range today. Uh, tomorrow is more like northeasterly sea breeze, uh, not too sure, probably in the lower range. Um, so it, for us, it's, you know, it gets through today. Uh, it's good that it's in the upper range. I think it's going to be more fun, and uh, we've been actually practicing lately more than that in this rain, wind range. So I'm, I'm happy with what we see. I mean, it is what it is. We can't really change it, so deal with it.